Motorsports Park, South Georgia Motorsports Park. And uh, we're five minutes from the hotel, so we're already here. Update for today. Uh, the control arm moved a little bit again, but I think it's just maybe I didn't have enough oomph behind it and tighten it up. So we're still okay with that, I think. Uh, we're setting up the canopy because it's a nice, very pretty sunny day. And uh, I like that. Uh, they just told us the number for today for me is uh, 48 and if you don't know what I'm talking about you might want to go back and watch the the, the prepping for a Sigwick video the last one I think it's part six or whatever and I describe uh, the uh, the class and basically my goal is to try to run today at 1248 and not faster so uh, two days ago the number was 52 and I ran a 56, so uh, it wasn't wasn't too bad. So I'm gonna use that same tune and see if I can go just a hair faster. So um, yeah, uh, everybody made it. Unfortunately, we're just not parked together just because of the staggering of things. But Keith's still over there, Trollvo's over there. But Brandon was able to come this morning and get parked next to us because he's a team player. I don't know what those other guys are doing, right? Yeah. <laughs> Oh man, well, we should be getting in the lanes early. My truck's gonna go first in the Trollvo uh, with the order of running today. And I think Brandon's gonna run today because he's odd also. So they're gonna call us up to the lanes by C, which is the first letter. And then the last uh, number is a nine for me and a five. And I forgot what Billy is. I think he's 69. Ah, 69. <laughs> Maybe we'll run again. Yeah, yeah. We that that was awesome. We yeah. did get the run yesterday. I know. If I was so lazy off the line, no, it was just I didn't build any boost. Oh, you didn't build any boost. No, I was like, I why was, am I beating you? I was trying to slow it down on the 60 foot, so and then didn't? I went overboard. Uh, do you, so you need a little bit of boost. Yeah, I need a little bit of boost. That's what yeah. I was wondering. Like, how yeah. long did it take for it to come up? It foot. It took forever. Oh, that's why. I didn't realize. I've never tried to do that with this converter, and it's just so tight that yeah. it just didn't swing up enough. What was your mile an hour yesterday? Oh, I don't even remember. It had to be it was more low. than mine. Uh, I want like, I mean, mine goes by the one. Oh, okay. Something like that. Yeah, you need boost. Yeah. <laughs> it was only I turned it down, so it's like maybe 13 to 14 pounds. Well, if we run again, we'll we'll we'll, we'll talk about uh, maybe strategy for get you a little time to build up some boost or yeah. something. Yeah, I actually think if I go in second, you'll be good. I'll be good. Yeah. Okay, cool. We'll do that. Yeah. I'll go light the top bowl and uh, get you some time, and yeah, we'll we'll have fun. I hope we get to yeah, run again. Yeah, that was awesome cool. yesterday. <laughs> All right, we're going to get after it, and uh, I think we're pretty much ready to go. Uh, wish us all luck. Well, that didn't take long, and they called us to the line. Uh, I put the tune in, which is like 26 degrees timing that I ran the other day when I ran 12.56, and uh, the uh, bullseye number was uh, 52 that day so I put that tune in and when I ran it the other day I just left it in drive so what I think I'm gonna do today is almost similar to what I did yesterday I put that tune in there and I'm gonna let it shift one two on itself and then I'm gonna hold out the shift uh, from two three to like maybe 6,000 rpm and maybe that'll help me pick up just a little bit of time and uh, if it does well we'll be we'll be golden so um, gotta, I, I don't know. It's this. I really like this class. It's a lot of fun, um, and I, I'm staying somewhere within six tenths of the number. So overall, that's a pretty good uh, day to me. So uh, we'll see what happens. Uh, the Sinoma is in front of me. I'm hoping we get to run him again. Uh, Brandon's a really cool dude. I, I like hanging out with him and, and his and his wife, and uh, we're having a good time. I'm glad we got to meet up together. Uh, Greg's somewhere running around taking care of pictures. There's Rod. I see him right there. What's up, Rod? I think we're going to be okay. What do you think? I think we're fine. You got a good number today. Yeah, 48. 48. 48. I think we'll be all right. I put the, I put, I put the tune I put in it on day one. And I'm going to, on day one, I left it in drive. Yep. So I'm going to shift two, three this time and see if we'll see. See what it does? Yeah. No, I mean, I don't know how many runs we're gonna get today. Ah, uh, yeah, that's a good point. That's a uh, really good point. Cause, but they're doing it smarter today because they're gonna get the cars one in, one in and get you can't come back. And you and can't come back. Again. Yeah. So then they're gonna they're gonna stop that whole uh, the whole guys round robbing, lopping the shit out of, out of it. Okay, cool. 
Good to know. I'm gonna go check on Bill. All right, let me know how they're doing. All right. All right, we'll see y'all when we make the pass. too fast the, the, the density altitude here is negative 200 something and i didn't look at that first and uh, went 1228 which is not a bad time but when i'm trying to run a 48 it doesn't work makes me wonder if i should have just shot for the moon on that one but bro yeah i know that was i almost had you <laughs> oh we had a really good race i might have some video from from brandon but you guys are headed out, huh? Yep. Swapping over. Yeah. Gonna He's kind of one and done and going to check in and go to the museum, which we'll be at later tonight, and we'll show you all that. But we're going to change the oil. And, uh, yeah. And then we're going to wait for a long yeah, time while you guys wait. are on the road. Yep. Hope you all have a good lunch. Yeah. <laughs> so let's get this oil changed. Keith ran a 55 today, so he's gonna get back in the line, and I'm back in the line, and Billy's back in the line because he wants to uh, <laughs> he wants to run a lot faster than he did today. But what did y'all find out was wrong with the car? Just tuning stuff. Oh yeah, just tuning stuff. Learning, Holly. It's 
the, the Dominator like stuff. It's, so the trans brake was commanding 12 pounds on trans brake, but we were leaving on six. So as soon as the extra load hit, it, ran, it was Ramped ramping. It much. was ramping dome, dome pressure down because it wasn't making 12 pounds. So it was like more dome, more dome, more dome. And then by the time it got there, and then when you released the button, it loaded the turbo and it made full boost, and it, it spiked faster than it could go. Well, hopefully y'all get to run that nine. Yeah, we, so, we disabled all that. Yeah. It's back to, it's not the right way to set it up, yeah. but it's what works on our 10-6 run. Okay. So, we're, okay. well, those we're going to make the passes because we can't do it on one run a day yeah. for the rest of the week, and then when we go back to Houston, when we go out on the street, we can actually play with them. Like, I can't wait. I want to do some, some test sessions out there when we get back. Yeah. Well, wish us luck. We're, we're in line. It's going to be a bit, so not for y'all. See you in a little bit. All the way down. Beautiful. 17 pounds of boost. What's no the cut, fast? No nothing. No cut, What's no the nothing. fastest the cars I ran? Think that's the fastest car. Fastest ever pass? Gone. Hell oh, yes. Shit. What was the mile an hour? 140. 970 at 140. 970 at 140. Uh, six two in the eight. And the DA is 800 right now. Yeah. So it went up since dude, this morning. Dude, this morning Excited. you would have yeah. fucking ripped it. Yeah. Hell yeah. I gave it hell. I hot lapped it three times in a row. And <laughs> I got a 47, but that was uh, 45, which is too fast for the 48. But at least I tried. But uh, um, anyway, at least I tried. Like I said, sorry, there's a lot going on. But uh, we're going to get on the road and go to the Don Garlitz Racing Museum. Keith uh, okay. turned in his 55, right? What'd you turn in? 55? 55. Yeah. yeah. So, still in contention, and we'll see what happens with that. And uh, Billy ran a killer number of a 970 in this hoss, and we're going to get on the road.
so today we only have one checkpoint on the drive and it's uh the don garlitz race museum and it's really really cool and they got all kinds of stuff industrial hemis and this is only one building there's a whole bunch on here but we got here late so i don't think we're gonna get the much <laughs> But uh, walk around and show you a few things. It's pretty neat. This is the. Well, I love how this is set up, like an old garage. Super cool. Not sure what all that is. But uh, looks like this is really, really early stuff. So cool. Gorgeous stuff. I want to try to come back here on the way home and really check it out. I'm glad this stuff is still around because some of the stuff is going to be lost art before too long. People used to run these flatheads and know all about them. It's pretty neat. Pretty darn neat. I love these Mercs. They're just, I've always wanted a lead sled. Beautiful car, black cherry paint. That is the most gorgeous paint. smooth as can be ranchero getting into some 60s stuff over here what is that oh that's a corvair motor i think yeah because it's got the belt that runs so funny pretty cool stuff yeah sure look at that that's a emmy and a four-door right check that out who knew you could get a 426 and a four-door that's rad. <laughs> Two four barrels. Holy cow! Yeah, that's the that's the mm -hmm. elephant motor in a four door. How neat is that? I love that. That's <laughs> that's so you'd never know. Custom order originally ordered, ordered by, by the FBI. FBI. Check that out. That thing's got to be worth a fortune, because how many were like this? See, this is where the Mopar guy freak comes out of me, because I love these cars. Is that a Coronet? Yep, RG. LeBaron TC over there. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> what is this? Uh, twin Turbo Banks. Is it a V6 or is it a V8? It does look like an eight, right? It's hard to tell. Hard to tell. There's so much. There's so much stuff everywhere. Yeah, it really does look like a small block Chevy in the front there. Check that out. Oh, here's the info. Oh, here it is. 87 Seven eight hundred, eight hundred horsepower. Turbo three hundred. Interesting. Chevrolet Turbo three hundred manual shift on the hmm. twin turbo three fifty nitrous. Seven, eight, Street legal Camaro could achieve speed 220 miles an hour straight run. That's pretty neat. So it must have been a land speed car. No, it's not a land speed car. Look at the look at the the it's body so cladding 80s. on that. It's so 80s. Oh, there's a hey, they got an RT over here. That's random. Yeah, I don't see anything info on it either. It is that blue color, which is kind of rare. Big Daddy's RT, check that out. That must be his personal, you know, personal know, there's, RT. There's like swing outdoors. I was gonna say he probably parks it right there. Look at that. Oh, look at that Carmen Ghia. That is gorgeous. I love these cars. Is that a Hemi? Yeah, this is a Ford Hemi. This is like that really, really Lost rare. Yep. This place is so cool. It's the only one building, man. Check that out. The Soto. 
Yeah, well, I mean, it's Chrysler. Chrysler. That is killer. Is that a video plane? That's super cool. Anniversary Corvette. This one's only got 27 miles on it. It's Shut been up. It's never been titled. Yeah, it's brand new. Wow. It's brand new. That's rad. It's never been titled. 27 miles. This is all it's got. <laughs> it's a lawnmower with a Hemi in it? You gotta be kidding me. That's legit. No, it's a big block. It's not a Hemi, but... Big block Chevrolet, still. It's insane. Yeah. That thing, has that been titled? Is that like brand new? It's brand new also. Five wow. Control, five, 500 five miles. miles. Anniversary con convertible. It's a Del Rey. Okay. They bought so it's not even a 210, it's a Del Rey. Bought it brand new, drove it here and parked it. Yep. What is that? A hot vapor car? Yeah. I wonder what hot vapor means. Yeah. Yep. Let's go find out. I love old fire tricks. They're so cool. Let's see what it says. Smoking ring. Uh, yeah, he was an automotive genius. Uh, he tried to get better mileage out of internal combustion. Where no raw gas ever got into the cylinders. Fifty-two miles an hour. Fifty fifty-two miles per gallon. That is cool. They just laughed and sent Smokey back to Daytona. That is super cool. It's a nice thing. It's super clean. I do too. I have no idea why either. See, I don't know this Ford stuff that well, but that's a nice car. I think that's super nice. Man. place is super cool man it was in coordinate 500 oh it was restored at UTI mm. it's pretty neat all right old Buicks and Cadillacs or just Buicks We found another building full of a lot of cool stuff. Transverse mounted? That's yeah, weird. That's a little, that's different. Chain driven. Wow. That's nuts. Huh. Oh, they're right there. There you go. Huh. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, turbine. Does it drive the wheels or is it just thrust? It drives the wheels. It's turbine. Yeah. Yep. Because it's got a rear end in it. Yeah. yeah. That's pretty cool. All kind of experimental stuff, you know. All kinds of SWAT ramp. I love the old school CRT TVs. Pretty neat stuff. That's pretty rad. Not much to it, huh? No. 55? 
147. Holy hell. And it was a dragster. 55, 147 miles an hour. That's nuts. Drive shafts between your feet. That's cool. It's a twin engine. Is it? Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah look at that. Yeah. How does that even work? So it's saying it's one ring gear, but two pinions. Huh. So it's like in no yeah. parallel. Some people don't buy two pinions or one. It's a couple of yeah. no Two pinions. That's crazy. Oh, I saw pictures of you have the house. That's not even as long as I've gone. I scraped the bottom of my camera. Are you hanging out the bottom of the car scraping your camera? Not today. Oh, no, good. But let's stop that. It sounds like sounds like a bad idea. <laughs> That's why they all died. What? Look at the welds on the cage. Oh my god. He's like, it doesn't fill it with confidence. It's SEMA welds. <laughs> <laughs> These things are tiny, dude. They really are. That's bonkers. I guess that's a front fuel pump. Look at that. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> that only is the drive shaft cutting your legs. What the heck? Oh, you know what though? Two tubes go down in the middle. Oil Two of the tubes go down. Because I was like, why is there only six? Stuff's red. Oh, there's all the funny cars in there. Y'all gotta come here. This is awesome. <laughs> <laughs> That's just so cool. I'm not gonna fill the home thing, but I think you guys got an idea. You probably need to come here if you're in Florida. Put it on your list. See y'all in a little bit. Well, we're off to Bradenton, which is our last leg, so we've almost made it. And uh, that's usually the biggest win out of all these events is just making it. So, wish us luck on the last couple hundred miles. Uh, thanks for coming along as always, and. Uh, I'll get these videos up as soon as possible and you'll see them when they're up. And uh, we appreciate you guys coming along. If you haven't subscribed yet, please consider doing so. And we'll see you in Bradenton. Until next time, you know the deal. Y'all be good.